Okay, that's number one. So now we got the we got the facility. Uh, so basically, we talked to the owner, we put the offer in, and um, and uh, actually we use what we call the magic letter. And my students get this, but anybody could do it really. But my students get my letter that we use, and the letter that we use is essentially a cash offer plus three owner financing offer. All right. Now, typically, when you talk to an owner, they don't, you know, they don't say, oh, yeah, I want to owner finance this thing. Let me give me an offer. I want to owner finance. No, they don't. And we don't ever really we don't ask them if they want to owner finance. So on the phone, uh, you know, we don't say, oh, like, you know, can we give you an offer? Or would you be interested in owner financing? We never do that. In fact, what we do is just I get the information from them that we need in order to run deal analysis. And then we send them an offer with four different offers in it. So we always have a cash offer plus three other different offers. We have a nice letter. There's like a little chart and it just goes, it just uh, shows you like how much money, like, you know, what the purchase price is and then like how much money the, in, the investor is going to make if they own or financed it to you. And then it shows like the interest rate and the terms and things like this. But um, we call that the magic letter in inside the storage nerds group. So if you join, you will get a copy of that. You'll get lots of, get lots of training on that. Um, so yeah, so we talked to this guy and he said, yeah, I'm interested in getting an offer. You know, I've been thinking about selling, but you know, I haven't really done anything about it. And I said, okay, well, we'll send you over an offer. So we did. We got the information that we needed to fill out the deal analyzer. And then we sent over an offer. And he was interested in, after we sent over the letter, he called back and he said that he was interested in owner financing. Okay. So, um, but I want to go through how we got to that process up till now. Okay. And so, and then I'll tell you kind of what we came to in the, what, like what we agreed to in the end. Okay. All right. So let me share my screen real fast and I'm going to get into, okay, hang on actually. So this is the deal analyzer. This is basically what our deal analyzer looks like. This is what I share with the students. We don't usually typically have it in Google form. This is, this is a Google form right now, uh, but um, we do have it like in an Excel spreadsheet. And typically what we do say to our students is like every single one of your deals that you do should be a completely new spreadsheet, right? Because you don't want to be using the same deal analyzer over and over and over again because the numbers and the formulas and stuff would get, would get all jumbled. But at least you can have an idea of what a deal analyzer looks like. Now, this deal analyzer we have been working on internally for several years, and we're always got new update, updates because we're always updating everything. And this is actually not even the latest version of the deal analyzer, but this is because we just we just rolled out a new deal analyzer last week. But this is the version that we used from last month to um, to run the numbers, and most of the time it doesn't. Um, most of the time it doesn't change the numbers don't change but every once in a while the formulas and the numbers will change okay so let me give you let me go through this step by step just to give you an idea of what is what you are what is needed in order for you to run deal analysis okay so and you can have a, you can make a checklist we have inside uh, inside uh, storage nerds we have uh, we have the um, everything that you need to ask the owner, which we call the, the, the seller call sheet. We call it the seller call sheet is basically just a list of, of everything that you see here in, in yellow that you're going to need or input in order to run deal analysis. Okay. And, and on our deal analyzer and storage nodes, you only input what's in yellow and then the formulas and everything are all, um, are all calculated as you go through the deal. Now, uh, as you can notice, as you can see along the bottom, there are a lot of tabs here that need to be utilized and updated. So when you think of uh, like, when you think of running deal analysis, like everybody's always like, what's the formula, you know? Because like on the residential side, it's like a quick formula that you can use, but um, in the commercial real estate world, it's really more like bigger picture. 
all right so it's like you have to look at what we uh what we call like as is value potential value and then like your your opportunity value right so what you can make as an opportunity so in commercial real estate investing you have to look at the whole picture you can't just like you know have some formula and then try to come up with 